What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2023 Topps Chrome Jumbo 8 box case break packaging number 21 just sold out. And again, guys, our 21st case of this here on YouTube. Let's get right into it. But yeah, so I don't know how it's gonna hit, so I figured I'd go. Oh, this is so dark. I figured I'd go get like uh, my grocery shopping done today, because, like I said, honestly, I don't know how hard it's gonna hit, and I'm not trying to be out in the rain, storm, shopping tomorrow. For uh, the name, the Hillary, <laughs> Hurricane Hillary. So yeah, I mean, that was basically my morning. So basically, I'm kind of running on adrenaline right now. All right, so let me make sure I can. Uh, Figure this. Yeah, well, I I'm prepared for there to be no electricity, just because uh, you just never know. Or at least like there to be no Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So, you know, I have a bunch of a uh, bunch of stuff to be okay with. But you know, if the power does go out, like I have some camping stuff that I can use. Some camping. I have like a little uh, stove top burner. I try to go get some more stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go. It was supposed to hit tomorrow night, like around six o'clock, but it's moving faster up here, so it's it's gonna hit tomorrow. I think the middle of the day, and it's a quick thing. It's only for a day. It's only really now like Saturday, Saturday morning to evening, where it's gonna be really windy, like 40, 50 mile per hour winds, you know, with tons of rain, and then by Monday morning, it's gone. You know. But it's like me and my wife are like, yeah, it's going to be fun. We're just going to have a, a very lazy day in tomorrow, you know? But I'm like, yeah, but it's not going to be the same if I don't have no electricity. <laughs> and it's like, also, it's, it's going to be like super hot. It's going to be like 80 degrees. In Long Beach, we're kind of a little inland. So like we get a little bit warmer weather compared to like Redondo Beach or in this area. So like it was like 80 degrees in uh, Long Beach. It's like 70 degrees here. Uh, and then like obviously where I grew up way more inland. So if it's like 80 degrees in Long Beach, it's like a hundred degrees <laughs> It's crazy But uh Yeah, it's not gonna be fun if it's like super hot still while it's raining It's gonna be all humid and imagine if my place doesn't have electricity. I can't even use my AC it's gonna be horrible Well, yeah, flooding for sure. But I, I, I personally, thankfully, don't have to deal with it so much. But there, there's going to be a lot of flooding for sure. So hopefully, for the people that are in the areas of flooding, they uh, they uh, are prepared for that. All I know is that today, the weather, uh, the weather services or whatever, the people that run the weather in Los Angeles County literally announced today that if you are in Catalina Island, please evacuate. <laughs> like, bro, you should have said that shit yesterday. You know how many people have to evacuate today? Because it's going to go right through Catalina Island. So I don't know. It's legit, though. But us Californians aren't really used to so much rain, so we're gonna find out what that feels like. Well, 
Well, honestly, the thing is that, like, living in California, the weather changes so often. Like, I, I feel like they were waiting to hopefully maybe it, it dies down, you know, by today or tomorrow, you know, early tomorrow, where it's like they don't have to issue all these warnings out. But I think they probably don't see it getting better. So, yeah, it sucks, but... All I know is that I know a lot of people that just be making fun. Like, you know, it's like, okay, am I really preparing for this, like, tropical storm hurricane? Or, like, can I still go get brunch with my friends on Sunday? <laughs> so funny, dude. Yeah, they were saying, like, some parts of, like, some parts of the desert and mountains, it's, like, up to, like, I think six inches of rain. Um, I think by the coast over here, like our beach areas, they were thinking like two to three, but it's going to hit, it's going to hit like the deserts and mountains area really, really bad. I don't know. Let's see what my phone says. Just says tropical storm, weather warning, 100%. See, it's still gonna be 76 tomorrow and raining. Disgusting. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, my sister, my sister works in uh, technically Long Beach at this beautiful outdoor like mall right right on the right on the coast and uh they were even thinking of closing the whole mall down tomorrow just because it's like not even worth it so my sister was like hell yeah i might not even have to work because <laughs> man honestly driving in the rain here i don't trust people man first of all i don't trust people in regular weather driving in california i can only imagine what it's like if it's a tropical storm you know so like I would rather not even be on the freeway at all. Not even in the streets. If I don't have to. Steel Walker. I would not be surprised tomorrow though if like Joe or those guys say they don't want to come to work, which I would probably do the same thing. So, uh, be aware. Something like that could happen. Goldie, out of 399. Cardinals. Go ahead, Tyler. And Bryce Johnson. I mean, honestly, I, th I think Teddy will still be here, Rex. <laughs> Teddy, no matter what, he'll still be here. But that is definitely the perfect excuse not to go to work. All right, Giants with that one. So Tigers, that's Paul. Giants is Kyle. Starting tomorrow, it's gonna the temperature's gonna be the high 80s and 90s. Woo. Yeah, but see, honestly, you can complain though because you get that humidity probably, right? We don't get that here. We just get that dry heat. Which I will take that any day over humidity, man. I hate, like when I go to Miami, I know it's beautiful and stuff like that, Florida, but good Lord. Tatis, it's, I'm just sweating. Probably good for me though, I probably lose a lot of weight out there. And Ryan Aguilar to 499.
Oh yeah, speaking of baseball, Dodgers are playing a doubleheader. So yeah, even this is the first time I've ever seen that, but I actually the Dodgers and Angels both canceled their games yesterday and we're basically playing a doubleheader today. You know, the Dodgers played their first game today at 12. Man, they got murdered yesterday. Tony Gonsolin is just blowing this year. So crazy. He had such a great last year. Looks like the Dodgers ended up winning today, though. 3-1. Then they play again at 6 o'clock today. There's like no way the players actually leave the, the stadium, right? If they played at one, like they played at 12, game just ended maybe like an hour or so ago. There's like no way they leave, right? They just stay there. Woo, Volpe. There you go, refractor autograph for the Yankees, Zach Sullivan. James Alvin, nice one there in 99 for the Dodgers. Stacy. But yeah, that's good. I mean, you should have should have did a little bet there, Rex. Is can you guys bet in your in your state? A little over under in wins. I could have made a little money. And Mark of Hell blue to one fifty. Oh, nice. So basically, so what do you think they're gonna have to do to potentially make it to the playoffs? Like, do you think they have to get like twenty seven wins out of the forty to probably potentially make the playoffs? Is that what it seems like it's on pace for? Brian McMahon, nice purple color match to 250. That's pretty nice. And Josh Smith. Texas Rangers. Matthew. This is Sanga Hyper right there, too. I've seen the Reds are calling up uh, Novelli Marte today, right? Should be fun. And I believe the Angels are calling up one of their draft picks. There's an Angels player today. I forget his name, but he was like their first round draft pick this year. And he was just drafted like 44 days ago or something like that. And he's already making his big league debut. I forget his name that he's on the Angels. Ezekiel Tovar. Um, Rockies. Jason. Honestly, the Reds are super loaded with young talent, too. I mean, Julio. Dude, he went, like, in his last three games I was reading, he went, like, 13 for 16 at bat in his last three games. He's finally, like, tearing it up. 
I mean, he's been consistently okay, but like definitely much down here. But Mariners right now are just playing a lot better baseball too. I think they're like a game or two behind a wild card spot right now too. Angels need to start winning because if not, it's over. They're they're already like six or eight games behind, I think. And David Hensley to 299 for the Houston Astros. Go to Michael P. Little negative, little jump man, jump man, jump man, jump man, jump man. And we got Luis Liberato. Season the Cardinals had last year, you would have thought, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be triple threads, I was told. Gold, Simeon Woods Richardson for the Minnesota Twins. Beautiful looking car. Twins, Steve Locke. Andrew McCutcheon to 
Steel Walker to four ninety nine. Will be refractor. So there is the first four boxes. Nice colors here, gold, purple speckle, blue, blue, refractor will be, Bryce Johnson. So some nice, nice stuff. We got a couple of refractors there too as well. All right, there we go. Sure. Uh, it was us. Oh, is that right? That's crazy. I seen that walk off actually. It was pretty hype. I know the night before it was like Luis Robert, right? He was like silencing the crowd and stuff. But uh, I seen Bellinger got a single, right? Or drove in a run or something like that, got on base and then.
he was all high. He just took out his jersey, ripped his shirt. Sick. Good for belly. Maybe it'll be you guys paying him. I would assume so. I'm sure Chicago would like to keep him. Alrighty, here we go. Travis Swaggerty. Pittsburgh going to Kev. Xander Bogarts. funny about that guy Rex you should look it up that same guy he's on Twitter he told that to Fernando, he told that to Machado the year he signed that big contract with the Padres at that time he told Machado told the told the told the, told the guy saying that he would have bet his old contract that uh, uh, that uh, that they the Padres win a World Series before the Dodgers do and uh, that guy ended up going to the game that I went to in San Diego and he posted up a new video, and he was right there behind home plate. And he was, you know, mocking Machado, saying, hey, Machado, you owe me, you owe me your $300 million contract, you know? A la la. And he ended up getting Machado's attention, but Machado didn't say anything. When Machado got traded to the Dodgers, I was so hyped. I love Machado, man. But obviously, you know, I think he just wanted the most money, and I think the Dodgers offered him money, but it's just, he got more in San Diego. But I'm pretty sure. I mean, look, man, honestly, people, when you're rich, rich, it doesn't really matter where you live, honestly. Like, 
when when celebrities and athletes like come visit LA for the first time or just get a feel for LA, people just love it, dude. I mean, there's just so much to do for them, especially if you're like rich. So, yeah, I'm sure he was bummed not not being able to potentially come back and stay in LA, but I mean, he just went to San Diego. It's not that far off. I wouldn't doubt if he still has a house here in LA. Rafael Devers. That's the one thing, like, obviously, low class, middle class is obviously going to love LA, but they're going to hate it because it's just so expensive to live here. But if you're a huge celebrity, athlete, you make millions, multi millions. I mean, the weather, just what you can do in LA, just in general, like, people, people will, uh, will want to play or, you know, live here because of that. Kyle Schwarber. All right, that's a Shohei Otani. That's a little uh, hyper. John Lester, or Josh Lester. Detroit, going to Paul. to keep your cool honestly but I think the best thing you can do is like I said Machado could have went up there you know got a base hit hit a home run and then walking back you know being like well what's up now you know but obviously it's not like it's not like it's the pitcher heckling Machado and he gets revenge it's just more like when a fan does it and if you if it really gets you emotional like the only thing you could do is, is respond by just actually like hitting a, a three, hitting a, getting a big dunk, you know, getting a touchdown catch, reception, run, you know, whatever the case may be in the sport. And then the fan will potentially shut up. But even then, obviously. But that Dodgers fan wasn't really like being rude, rude to him. He was just more like, you should have stayed with us, you know. Uh, you could have won like multi could have won multi-world series here, la, 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 and obviously Machado don't want to still hear that anyways, but, you know, Machado just did the mistake of just saying that I bet you my contract that, <laughs> that we win before you guys do, <laughs> you know, that's bold right there. All right, so Togalea there for the Rockies. And another tug layer. You know, that could be another motivation why he also signed with the Padres, besides getting paid. He's like, look, I get to play against the Dodgers now more times than I normally would. And, uh, you know, maybe he got convinced. Uh, convinced, uh, you know, with San Diego, with the big team they got, you know? But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's hard. Like, I know players and, and athletes and anything like that get attached to where they're at city-wise, and it sucks because, obviously, there's no guarantee you're going to end up playing and staying in the same city your whole career. Uh... Yeah, those ones right there? The gold ones? Yeah, I'll do Yeah, these right there. Dude, can I rip upper, like, stature on IG right now or not at all? 
I have no clue, to be honest. Maybe ask Nick. Okay. I don't know. The rules are all weird now. Furman. Freddie Freeman to three ninety nine. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with the Padres of Soto, honestly. I, I haven't heard not one thing about potentially him signing a contract extension there. Wow, look at that. Two back-to-back -back shows. Simeon Woods Richardson. So let's continue on, guys. We have pretty much this half box left, and then oh, look at that! That's sick. It's one of those below zero, sub zero, uh, frozen refractors. Negative four out of zero. Cal rally for the Seattle Mariners. So Mariners is going to Joe and Dresa. That's pretty nice. There you go. I wonder how actually these are selling. I mean, they're technically out of five, right? So I figure they got to sell pretty well. And again, yet, I've hit like five of these already. I've yet to hit a second Taco Fractor. I'm the only one here that's hit a Taco Fractor, so I, I kind of believe they're just, they're just impossible. Riley Green, nice one there to 299 for the Detroit Tigers going to Paul. Michael Harris there. And then we got a Jermaine Palacios. Alright, let's continue on guys. So this is the second half here. J1 Bay. Pirates, that's going to Brandon. Drew Waters to Encarnacion. Thank you. 
Jonathan Aranda, number to 75. That's last spot mojo, Justin. There you go. And Liberato. <laughs> All righty, folks. There you go, guys. So let me do a quick autograph recap. So there you go, Palacios for Detroit, J1 Bay uh, for the Pirates, Encarnacion for the Marlins, Liberato for the Padres, Woodrowson for the Twins, a negative rally for the Mariners, Furman Autograph for the Royals, Togle for the uh, Rockies, Luster for Detroit, Groshans for Miami, another Togle there, Devers Relic to 99 for Boston, Swaggerty for Pittsburgh, Peraza. For the Yankees, Wesnitsky for the Cubs, Tovar for the Rockies, Smith for the Texas Rangers, Walker for Detroit, Aguilar for the Angels, Walker again there for Detroit, Woods Richardson Gold way for the Twins, Hensley for the Houston uh, Astros, Liberato there uh, blue for the Padres, Mark Appel for the Phillies blue, Bryce Johnson for the Giants, to 299 purple speckle, and then we had a refractor of Volpe there. Autograph. So there you go, folks. Uh, another one is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, guys. Thank you.